All right, now we're talking about the, uh, the convert, the more specifically the, the C I N T function, and that's uh, anything on the circle of C. It's going to be uh, pertaining to converting. So we have a C I N T, which is a convert to integer. And uh, you could have a CDBL that's a uh, convert to double or C string, which is convert to a string. So they're all converting. If you need to convert from one type to the other, C L and G to convert to a long. Okay, it's like a transformer. It trans transforms the voltage from one to another. Now in this case, we're going to parse a number, and this. Uh, number is going to be 321.236 anytime you want to hold a decimal point uh, name it a double okay name it a double you could store uh, you can store a lot of large amounts of doubles even if you have money you store a double you can always use some format function of formatting uh, format as currency but uh, use a double to store the decimal place. Okay, back to back to this. We have uh, we have a parsed number function. So I'm um, dimensioning a double as double and an integer as integer. Integers do not store decimal places. Doubles do. Integers do not. Doubles do. Okay. So I'm pressing F8 to step through this. And my double is going to be this. I cannot assign it to an integer because it won't assign a decimal place. It'll either give me an error, it'll probably give me an error. And then I want to go ahead and insert or convert this double and stick it into this integer. So I'm using the cint function to convert the double into the integer. So put the decimal number into an integer value. Okay. Bang. So notice this, this, and then I'm showing my integer value. It's not it does not have any decimals, I just converted the decimals to an integer. So that's basically basically all. So you have a double, you convert it using the CINT function to an integer. And then it's more proper proper way of doing things, and then report what that number is. Thanks all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.